Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, Facebook has been a great um, addition, I guess, to our public society as far as, well, people being in touch with people and various things. And, I, you know, I suppose that there, there's been some, uh, some bad things as well. Well, I know there has been uh, some bad things that go on on Facebook from time to time. I want to talk to you about my particular business on Facebook. Now, I will put a few pictures on along the way just to keep you in connection with me as a person. But my main objective to Facebook is to, well, give the message of Jesus Christ and encourage you. That's my whole point here. That's why that I attempt to do these videos every day. Sometimes when I'm out of town, I can't do them, but I try to do them every day. Sometimes I get it done out of town as well, as, as many of you know. But my whole point in doing this is to share the gospel with you. Now, I have over a thousand people on my friends list, many of which I don't know. They've been recommended by some of you. I have uh, befriended them because of your recommendation, only to get the gospel out. You know, sometimes when you see people that you know post things on Facebook and it comes up and it disappoints you because of language or content or, uh, or action or whatever, then, you know, you have to deal with that issue in your own mind. And sometimes when people see that, you know, they, they get disappointed. I know that I do because I'm trying to get the gospel out to hip people. And I, and I want you to understand that, you know, this ministry here is simply a ministry to encourage and to help. And I desire with all of my heart to get the gospel in you that wherever you are, you can get it in somebody else. And I just want to talk to you about the seriousness of your own understanding of putting things on the internet that people can see that will have to draw an opinion, whether it's good or bad, of what your character is or how your actions are or what you're doing. And it's very important. So I just am concerned about, uh, about a number of things today. And, you know, the Lord Jesus has prepared us. Now, and I want you to get this. This little trip that we're on here in Earth, on planet Earth, is, is not an accident. We're here for a purpose. And our purpose is to obviously enjoy life and have fun and all that other good stuff. But it's also very important that we understand that we are children of God. And we are to be examples of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus is not coming down and walking the streets. I mean, he's not going to be seen in the stadiums and uh, on the highways and byways. But you are. And, and you and I, we are the examples of Jesus Christ. And I need to understand that. I need to be very important to in my mind to understand that I am accountable uh, for what I do and what I say. I am responsible uh, for what I can control. And I need to be aware that I need to be careful with, you know, movies that I watch, places that I go, things that I do. You say, well, you know, hang, hang on a minute, Rocky. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm my own person. Let me live my own life. That's fine. That's fine. And, and you have that opportunity. And in America, you have that liberty. But from my standpoint, I want you to know that there's more to it than this. There's more to it than today. There's more to it than tomorrow. There is eternity that involves it. And even though that we don't think right now that it makes that big a deal or whatever, and we say, well, let's just blow it all off and just, you know, eat, drink, and be merry, so to speak, or just not even care, or do nothing, well, it does matter, and there is a future involved in this thing. And the Word of God is going to last forever. And I need to understand that, and I need to embrace that and draw myself to that. You see, if you and I fail to accomplish what God's intended purpose for us here is, it's going to be sad for us when we stand before the Lord. Now, I question, I question a person's motives. If, on one hand, you know, we're carrying a Bible or going to church, and on the other hand, we're living like the world, and, we're, and we think for some reason that's okay. Well, it may be okay in society. I saw an advertisement the other day uh, on television. Uh, had a lot of different stars on it. And I think it was called Embracing the Different or Loving the Different or whatever. And it is promoting alternate living and, 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 and sin and so forth and so on. And that's the, the society we're in. And, and it's very easy for a person to, uh, as far as the world goes, you know, go to church and then live any way they want to and, and, and answer to nobody because they're their own person. And that's, and that's very much world known as far as people go. Uh, but that's different as far as God goes. You see, God takes very seriously uh, his son's death on the cross. He takes very seriously 
uh, what your gifts are. He takes very seriously your time spent on planet Earth. And I just want to tell you today that I love you. This ministry, this Facebook ministry that I have, even though I said earlier I put a few pictures on just to keep you in contact with me as a real person, this ministry that we have is for a purpose. It is to get the Word of God in you and to enrich you and to help you not only feel better and to encourage you and to challenge you, but to get you busy that you might affect someone's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, well, our time here is limited. And I want to do as much as I can, because I've made mistakes. I understand how making mistakes are. I understand that. I understand the devastation of making mistakes. I understand the danger of liberty. I understand that. I've been in that situation. And I want you to know that our time is short. And please don't take this in the wrong way. But if you do belong to Jesus Christ as far as your salvation experience goes, now God created everybody, but God's not the father of everyone. That's a birth experience. If you've been born again, then your way must decrease and his way must increase. And that's very valuable. So let me just ask you to think about it. Think about asking yourself the question in a very candid, honest, sincere way. If I were to stand before God right now with my present condition, how would I be received in the holies of holy throne room of God? Now, the first thing that somebody said right now is I'm not perfect. Everybody understands that because no one's perfect. But God doesn't weigh the action as much as he weighs the heart. Where is your heart? Is your heart after God? I trust today that it will be, and I trust today that we'll do something about it in a positive manner and shine the love of Jesus Christ. And if you do that, well, God will bless you for it. So Facebook friends, God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.